Hi! Uh, this video is to show you how to put your own music onto your Wii video project. That was a great question, so thank you for asking it. Um, one of the things that you can do is, the first thing is you have to either get your music um, onto a flash drive or onto your Google Drive so that you can use it at school. So I'm going to show you how to save it from iTunes. I'm not sure where you store your music, but if you were going to, for instance, get a song from iTunes, you could open up your iTunes on your computer at home, go ahead and open up the album, and then you can just click on the song you want, and then right click and choose from down here, copy. Once you've copied your song, you can X out of iTunes, and then you can either put it on a flash drive or you can open up your Google Drive. And I'm just going to put mine on my desktop for you to see. And all you have to do is click paste. That will put the song that you're going to use for your project either on your flash drive or in your Google Drive. Once you have your song saved, you're going to want to open up your Wii Video project. So just go to WeVideo.com like you have been in class. Whoops. And then log in using your VCS Badger username and password. So sign in with Google and then your VCS Badger's account. Once you're in your Wii Video account, you can look at your last edited, which should be your project, and click Continue Editing. Once your project screen opens up like mine did here, you're going to want to click on Upload, because we want to upload our song into Wii Video. So if you saved it on your flash drive, you're going to put your flash drive into the computer, into the USB port, and click Browse. If you saved it into your Google Drive, you can click on Google Drive and log into your drive and find it there. So I'm going to click Browse since I have mine saved on my desktop. And I just click on the song and click Open. Over here, you can see that it's starting to upload. Um, this could take a long time depending upon how long your song is. So once your song is done uploading, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now once your music is all uploaded, it should say uploaded right here and done right here. So now it's time to put it into our project. So we go back onto our timeline, and this is where we'll insert it. I'm going to make my computer go full screen so you can see it a little better. Okay, so now you can see all the audio files. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of the old audio file that came with the recording. So I'm going to click on it, and then this little trash can appears. So you can click on the trash can to delete the clip. Now I need to put my new clip in. So when we uploaded our clip, it should go right in here with all your pictures and your videos. And here it is. So I'm just going to drag it down into the music spot. Once it's in the music spot, you'll see that my song is much longer than my video. So I'm just going to scroll over. And just like we did to shorten the video clips, you can click on it. And you can shorten the audio clips as well. Until it just matches up with however long you want it. Okay, so now I have my new audio clip in, and um, that's all you have to do to add it in. You can definitely test it and push play and see if that's if you like the way it sounds. One thing I'm just going to remind you of is that in order to keep it legal, you can only use 30 seconds of a song that's um, done by an artist, and you have to make sure you cite that song in your presentation. So if you do want to use your own music, that's fine, but you can either only use 30 second clips or you have to use you know 30 seconds of each different song so if you have any other questions feel free to email me and thank you so much for contacting me